Obviously, this was a, uh, a very emotional kind of day, to, uh, all day kind of actually. And I, every time I've come to this arena, it's to root for my dad and the family. And so it was an interesting uh, arrival. When I get here, I get off the bus and I go down the opposite tunnel of where the opponents go, so many guys that you know we root against when they come in here is a, almost an eerie feeling. I really didn't like it. Um, once the ball went up, though, and it turned into another game, and we were I'm competitive, he's competitive, and we were trying to beat one another. Uh, they just made a few more shots than us tonight, but um, we're going to take a lot of good things from from the offense. I think it was great for our guys to understand how hard you have to cut the reads of the two guard offensively, and we'll continue to grow from that uh, as we develop our culture and uh, system of play at the morning. Did he say anything to you after the game? I mean, right there at the end? I mean, yeah, he said great job. And he said, uh, you're, you have some really, really good pieces for the offense. And he was, he was obviously wondering about uh, our Taekwondo Roland, if he was OK, and making sure he was OK. So did you catch, your, catch yourself on the sideline once it was a game, and you said that you went at it? But do you have a moment at some point when you look down there? And, and uh, yeah, I, I, the moment was when I um, when we shook hands in the very beginning, and I said to him, "Well, the day's finally come. Here we are." And uh, he said, "You're right. Here we are." And I, I, I both I don't think we both knew what to say. We just kind of smiled. And, uh, so he's best of luck. I'm looking forward to this. Three for thirteen from the line, and that's the entire game. Yeah, three for three to me. I just told my guys in the, the, the locker room that that can't happen again. That's uh, not doing. We practice shooting. We practice foul shooting. That's something I pride myself in, and that's something that we'll get better at. I'm just glad that it wasn't in uh, in any ten game or conference games that it could have cost us the game. So it's better to happen now and uh, against them, so we understand how important when we do shoot foul shots in a game or in practice. Uh, how, to, how to concentrate. What are your impressions of your dad's team and some of the pieces they have? Uh, I, I was telling all the guys as I was, I was um, shaking their hands to the players, like, I'm glad this is over and I'm really looking forward to rooting for you guys in this Big Ten season and everything because uh, I think he has some great pieces, um, some really good young pieces that right now that they haven't developed um, the offensive defensive scheme sometimes, you know, some of those guys, DJ Wilson, Duncan Robinson, hurt him more than help him right now. And, and so I think those pieces will come along quickly. And he usually does a great job at that. Uh, they'll get better at uh, each practice, and he'll make sure that. But I'm looking forward to rooting for them. I'm the biggest Michigan fan from here on out now after this game. Were you pretty pleased with the way you guys responded? Every time they got up big, it seemed like you guys made a shot or two to cut in the lead. Yeah, I am. I thought that it could have got out of hand really. Uh, really quickly for us there when we only had five points with about 10 minutes to go, something like that. And, uh, we just relaxed a little bit. I think they um, just, I, I told them in the huddle that we're running the same offense. How, how are they scoring? And we aren't, um, and they were just cutting harder than us. And so that's, we really took that and we kind of got defense stops, got to run in transition a little bit. So I'm really glad the way we responded um, because it got out of hand last Monday at Syracuse in the second half. Uh, against them, so I'm glad that we learned that uh, to just stay in the game and execute, believe in the offense. You mentioned walking in, what was the, another surreal moment? Anything else that you kind of stopped your track right No, I don't think there was another moment other than uh, I, I look down and I see him huddled with his assistant coaches and you know talking about you know how they're going to stop us, and that's kind of you know he was game planning to stop Lemoyne to stop myself and our coaching staff, and that was kind of kind of funny. And, uh, I got him, I, I must admit, I, after a few timeouts, we came out and executed pretty good. So you have to ask him about that. We scored a couple baskets, so I felt good. I was smiling inside, and I'm going to let him know about it later. <laughs> How'd your mom do this whole thing? My mom was really good. You know, she, um, she, she, it was a win-win. Um, now, I would leave to go back to Syracuse. She would have to live with them if they did lose, so I don't know how that would work out. But she was really good. I think she was maybe just as nervous as all of us, the whole family. It was an interesting dynamic that we had never gone through before. And I'm just glad that um, uh, it all played.
played out well, no injuries. I think both teams executed well, and we did as, as good job as we could have, except for the foul shooting. You see how those uh, t-shirts your cousins were wearing? The combo names and everything? Yeah, Miss Lemoyne? Yeah, they, uh, so Lemoyne actually created those, and I told them that I had a bunch of um, family coming. And so I thought that was pretty neat that uh, they put those on. And um, so it's, it was definitely an interesting uh, um, t-shirt, but I think it's one that will, I'll see that down the road. A lot of my cousins will wear that forever. So, so how is it spelled? Um, M-I-C-H-I-M-O-Y-N-E. Yeah, very, the Jesuit, good education. <laughs> I mean, you had, you had a full family section over there, but what does that mean to you and your dad together? I think it means a lot. I think that's uh, one thing that we really, um, is first and foremost the most important to us is the family concept. And for all those cousins and aunts and uncles to come in from all over the country, um, kind of, um, it's kind of just, it's nice to see and kind of like sent you back with how much this means to them and how much they are invested in our family um, and Michigan basketball and watching their cousin, you know, be, be a head coach. So it's, it's pretty neat with that. Remember a moment growing up when you were watching your dad and you thought, that's what I want to be doing? I wouldn't say necessarily the coaching. I think I learned that. Um, I knew what I wanted to coach in college after as a player. Um, the, the system, I wanted to run his style of system. I wanted to have his demeanor on the sidelines. This was at West Virginia. And I was never the most athletic. Um, but I was, I always thought the game. I was one step ahead. I was always wondering why he was doing these drills of practice to get ready for. And so I really just started studying the game on that aspect of it. I wanted to coach. Did he talk to you a little before he signed his extension? Did he get any advice from you? And did you kind of see that coming? The extension? His contract extension. No, I had no idea. I had no idea. I'm happy for him. I know he has a lot of basketball left in him. I know that. So I'm really happy for him. And I, I think it takes it to sick when he's 68. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes past that. I mean, he's feeling great. He's. I think there's an article. He's motivated and after last season his new pieces he has, he's really re-energized a little bit. It's good to see. Do you think he'd do this again with you, or do you think it was too much trade on the nerves a little bit go against you? If I'm, yeah, I think that he would. I don't think that, um, that now that he won, if he would have lost, I don't think he would have won since he won. I think, I think he would. We'll try to get him to Le Moyne maybe next year. We're going to have a new little arena, so we'll try to get him up there to kind of open up Le Moyne. Yeah, but that's a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> How weird is this right now? The media? Yeah. I'm used to That's usually your, your dad's actual spot. Oh, this is... I mean, it's, it's nice. It's, uh, I never knew he came up here. I, but it's nice, I mean. But I'm used to the media and talking in front of people. <laughs> I'm surprised. So does the losing team go first? Is that what happens? If they come in, apparently people visiting. will come visiting. 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 Okay. Your mom has a different version. It doesn't say Mission Moine, but she's wearing a Mission T-shirt. And then under it, she has like a Le Moine patch. She said that you brought that to her, and she didn't tell you what it was for. Um, so were you surprised to see that shirt? Did you see it on her? Yeah, I saw it. Um, I don't know if she's in here, but I saw the shirt. Um, so it was actually a gray t-shirt and it had the logo, so she must have cut off the logo and then um, sewed it on underneath the Michigan shirt. So that's, uh, I'm not sure if she sewed, she sewed it herself, but she might have, so that's pretty neat. I'm looking for, I saw it hanging up in her closet today. Uh, I didn't, haven't seen it on her yet, okay. so I'll make sure. But she's making a statement, I guess. She didn't want the Michigan one, but she went with the statement, so she can do that. She's Mrs. Beeline. <laughs> <laughs> similar is what you do to, to what your dad does. I would imagine there are a lot of similarities in your pattern, in your style. Of your yeah, not only on the court, but off the court. Um, teaching kids about basketball will end, and there's more to basketball. It's, you know, life you have to get out and um, 
get a job someday and show up early for those jobs and not be late to meet time deadlines. So a lot of the things that we take off, um, you know, off the court, I kind of value the most from him uh, in how he conducts himself and how he um, shows his player and is like a father figure to those guys. We go back right away now or you just stay in town? Or We're going to stay the night and we'll travel back tomorrow, hop on the bus tomorrow. Um, we're going to go to the football game, but it's a 3.30 game, so we're going to get out of here in the morning and get back to Syracuse. And I know we're really looking forward to the start of our real season and playing a Division II teams. And so. You end up, you end up Mark? <laughs> the MC. Thanks, Thanks Patrick.